good afternoon my dear students um, so the today's class is about uh, uh, media formulation so in the previous class what we uh, discussed it is about uh, uh, the role of media in the fermentation industry and uh, what was the quality of uh, good media that we are uh, discussed in the previous class now the today's class is about uh, media formulation myself dr shib from the department of biotechnology so uh, in the in the media formulation uh, so media uh, as we know that this media formulation is an essential uh, stage uh, in the designing of uh, successful uh, uh, laboratory experiment in pilot scale development and uh, manufacturing uh, process okay so this uh, media constitutes uh, must satisfy the elemental requirements for uh, cell biomass and uh, metabolic production and uh, there must be an adequate uh, supply of energy for uh, biosynthesis and cell maintenance of course uh, uh, in the case of uh, cell development uh, we need a satisfied media which which is having a, uh, a mixture of components or an uh, elemental requirement which will support the uh, uh, growth of uh, cells say that may be a microbial cells or it may be a plant cell and also it should not uh, disturb the metabolite uh, production okay we need to increase the metabolic production then the first step to consider is an equation based on uh, the growth or what that is mentioned the equation that is mentioned here is for an uh, aerobic fermentation you need a uh, carbon uh, a carbon or um, and or such uh, uh, energy source it is mentioned here carbon and energy source along with uh, nitrogen source along with uh, some nitrogen source then oxygen plus other requirements such as uh, minerals vitamins etc which leads to the production of biomass and other products plus uh, carbon dioxide then water and heat okay so this, this is a byproduct which is are created after the uh, fermentation okay, when we know about the uh, details about the carbon and energy source which we are going to supply uh, for the growth of organism along with the certain nitrogen sources oxygen and other requirements as i earlier mentioned uh, which leads to the production of uh, biomass so if you get a biomass it will produce a product then it leads it, uh, it is giving a certain by products such as uh, carbon dioxide uh, water and uh, heat okay here it is uh, given us some of the examples of fermentation media tagonic acid production then uh, other uh, enzymes production like that okay so uh, does it this table uh, shows the uh, certain uh, media certain uh, examples for fermentation media knowing that uh, a certain amount of biomass uh, is uh, necessary um, uh, or it, it required uh, to know about the uh, details uh, of the biomass necessary to produce a, a defined amount of product it should be possible to calculate the substrate concentration necessary to uh, produce or um, uh, it is uh, required or it's a major part um, for the production of or it will support the production and the yield so th that's what it is mentioned knowing that the certain amount of biomass it is uh, necessary to produce pro to produce a defined amount of product there may be a medium component uh, which are needed for uh, the product formation which are uh, required for biomass production okay certain uh, medium components which will support the growth of microorganism and certain will support the uh, grow, uh, production of product okay it may be different in a uh, different way. okay so the combination of such type of medium should be given for the growth of microorganism as well as the product okay that's what uh, knowledge of the essential uh, composition of uh, uh, processing microorganism is required uh, for the solution of the elemental balance equation so this information may not be available so that data will be serve as a guide to absolute uh, minimum quantities of nitrogen sulfur phosphorus magnesium and potassium to include uh, in a initial medium recipe that information which may be uh, provided in the next slide and the next tabular column the information which we are uh, standardized or which we are getting from the data that can be applicable uh, and that it is used as a base for producing the medium certain trace elements such as iron zinc copper um, molybdenum uh, etc boron etc may be and which we record in a small quantity so, okay which we needed as a major nutrient or uh, major elements or uh, um, minor elements that should be uh, segregated separated and it should be added into the meat so which we, which we can get it from the data
some microorganism cannot synthesize specific nutrient for example amino acid vitamins and nucleotides which cannot be able to synthesize by the microorganism which should be added or incorporated into the medium at an adequate amount as a pure compound or as a component of complex mixture either may be a complex mixture we need to add the particular uh, type of uh, uh, source that is amino acid or vitamins or nucleotides otherwise you can add a, a pure component into the media which it cannot able to synthesize by some of the microorganisms if you are using certain raw material also sometime it will uh, provide the uh, certain nutrient or certain amino acid or vitamin to the uh, cell in case if the raw material is not uh, providing the suitable uh, amino acid or vitamin we need to add it by uh, add it uh, to the fermentation media in an adequate amount that's what it is mentioned so here you can uh, see that uh, uh, element composition of bacteria yeast and fungi so carbon 50 to 53 that required and for yeast 45 uh, to 50 percentage and uh, for 40 to 60 like that it is uh, mention here the percentage of carbon hydrogen nitrogen phosphorus and other uh, ions which are required for the uh, defined steps okay uh, hope you will understand about uh, media formulation if you have any queries you can contact me so that's all for today uh, see you in the next class thank you